Hi everyone, today I'll give you a brief of how you can use the mob.ai platform to create your own bot. Now let's get started with the first step. I go into chat flow. There I can find conversations. Uh, each conversation is it's kind of a building block for the complete flow. You can jump from one conversation to another creating a dynamic flow. Now let's get started with creating a conversation. Each conversation will have three parts. One is how that conversation will get triggered. The second part is the flow that can be created by using the different blocks that are provided. And third is jumping to another conversation. A conversation get, will, can get started in two ways. One is automatic, wherein if the user types a certain keyword on the bot, this conversation will get started. Now, second way is manual, where the flow can jump to this conversation from another conversation. How to create your flow? Now, you have multiple kinds of blocks. One is send message block. You can add delays between two messages. You can set up a properties. You can integrate your APIs. You can create your own custom flow. If, if there is anything that the platform does not provide, you can create a code for this and implement it. Transfer chat to human. This is an important one. And uh, here you have other blocks as well. You can send email, you can send SMS, integrate your CRM. Now, send message block is the most important block. You can see three channels here. One is WhatsApp. Uh, Morph live chat and third is Facebook. Now since we are creating a WhatsApp chatbot right now, I'll choose WhatsApp. Multiple options are there to create the message. You can create a text message, you can add images, videos, files, and you can add audios as well. You can add a location. You can also add contact details for someone. Hello. Now, let's say uh, I want to ask the user to share his email address. Here you can see a button, wait for user to reply. Now this is an important button. So if I activate this, the bot will actually wait for the user to respond. If the user does not respond, the flow will not move to the next conversation block. Here is the most intelligent part of the platform. So whatever the user is typing or replying, you can validate that response. So since we are asking the user to share his email address, what I'll do is I'll ha I have multiple options to choose from. I'll choose email. So what the bot does is it tries to check for the correct format if the the user's response is not in correct format. An error message will be thrown by the bot. Now, second part is handling invalid responses. Let's say the user is not interested in giving you the email and he has a query and he types in a query. The format will not be corrected, will not be correct. So what happens in that case? Here you can see a uh, match other conversations button is activated. So what happens is whatever the user is typing, it is matched with the trigger actions for other conversations or the FAQs integrated on the bot. And if any of those match, that conversation or FAQ will get triggered for that user. If I deactivate this, the matching process will not be working. You can also decide how many times you want to send that error message. If this threshold is reached, the bot will skip this question for that user. Third part is storing the responses that the user has provided. So if I click on this button, uh, I can choose the property where I want to save the user's response. Now here is one more important button. Skip this message if, pro if property already has a value. So since we are asking email from the user, we do not want to ask the same question to the user again and again. So what happens is that if I click on this, if I activate this, this message will get skipped for a user who has already provided the email address. Now, this button needs to be used very intelligently. This now, what if I am providing multiple options to the user? So if I say, and I give the user with two options,
So since this is free text, what I'll do is I'll choose free text and add the values here. The user can respond with any of these four values and the bot will accept those values. I will need to save this in a property. Now in this case, since we are providing multiple options, uh, so whenever the user comes to this conversation again, we will need to ask his opinion again and again. So I'll deactivate this option and how do we use the user's response to uh, have different flows for that user based on the choice that he has made. So the platform provides you with a branching block. You can add conditions based on which different flows will be working for that user. So this is the property where I have saved the user's response. I'll check it for a red. I can add multiple values here. I could red one. Again, I'll create the second branch as well. I'll choose dummy variable. It is exactly two or green, green. I want to send the user based on his choice to different conversations. Here I have chosen the test conversation. I'll choose another conversation here. So I'll say trail. What if none of the conditions match? The flow will actually go to the default conversation. Now, it is very important to handle the default conversation because if we have not handled it, the bot will not respond to the user and the user will be left hanging. So what I do is I'll, since uh, this is not a response that we are expecting from the user, what I'll do is I'll send the flow to the fallback conversation. Now your conversation is created. <clears throat> now what happens uh, when you choose other blocks? So you can add delays between two messages, you can set up a property. So this value gets stored in email. Ah, you can uh, integrate your APIs, you can create your own code. Now what happens when you choose transfer to human? So if I save it, all the users who have been transferred to human for further chat will be visible in the converse section. So this is where this is the section that will be used by the agents who will be interacting with the users who need uh, help that cannot be provided by the pot directly. So here you can see multiple uh, users who have already been added for human chat. So if I click on this, I can see the details for that user. I can see what conversation happened for that user and I can start chatting with that user. If I click on this, uh, he will be assigned the user will be assigned to me and I can go on interacting with that user Another important aspect of the platform is the audience Where th this is kind of a mini CRM where all the users and their details are uh, Stored now if I click on any of the users, let's say and I can see his m Important details. I can see the conversations that are happening along with the conversations. I can also see the backend updates that are happening this way, this actually helps me to track what is happening on the bot and if in case the bot does not work properly, you can backtrack it using these details. All the data that you have stored will be visible in this section. Now, there are other uses of the audience section. You can add filters. Let's say I want to see all the users who have shared their emails. Uh, I can see 12 users. Now I want to see all users who have shared their phone numbers. So there are about 537 users. Now what if I want to apply multiple filters? So phone number also exists and email also exists. So the 
filter expression here is one and two. Now, what if I want to see all the users who have either provided their phone number or their email addresses. So what I can do is I can directly change the filter expression and I can see that there are 537 users who have either provided their phone number or their email addresses. So this is something very which is very unique and that can help you to analyze the bot. Now once you have created your segment you can save this segment you can give it a name and that segment will be saved. I'm not say I'm not saving it for now. Uh, so there are multiple segments that have already been saved here. Okay. Uh, another important thing that you can do is you can import user data using a file. If you want to update some of the properties that can be done easily. And another option is export. You can export all the data that you have captured on the bot either as an Excel or a CSV. So if you click on any of those, the, the Excel or the CSV will be mailed to you over email. Uh, you can ex schedule exports as well. You can create the schedule, you can add details and uh, set the frequency for scheduled exports. Now once you have created your segment, how to use it? Uh, so another important aspect of the platform is the nurture tab where you can see announce. An announce is used to send a message to multiple users so the segment that you created that segment can be used and uh, you can send uh, one message to multiple users at, at a time using announce you can send out a post session message you can send out a session message if, what if I want to send out post session messages now so let's say I choose the segment of whichever econ segment right right I can add the page for it I can add the name Okay, so this segment does not contain any users. Okay, I want to compose my message. So these are, since I'm sending a post session message for WhatsApp, the template message that I want to send needs to be approved by WhatsApp. Uh, if I go, again go into chat flow and go into message templates, you can see all the templates that have been added. And for the post session messages, you can see the status. Post session mes messages that have been approved by WhatsApp can only be used to send it send out to multiple users at a time. We go into uh, source. Now, once you've created your bot and uh, you are ready to go live, how do you do that? So, the platform provides you multiple options. You can either set up your bot on your website. You can add an opt-in widget on your website so if i click on this you can see an image this is how an opt-in widget will be visible on your website the user can enter his phone number and you can send out the first message to that user similarly there are other uh, widgets as well you can uh, uh, integrate your ads with the bot you can create a link you can create a checkbox link is the most simple widget that can be used now this is all about the platform. Now if in case you're stuck somewhere and you need some help, uh, we have a need help option. If you click on it, you'll see guides and tutorials. You can see all the documentation. So if I'll, I'll show you the documentation as well. Now for each of the different tabs and each of the important blocks, we have uh, documentation and that will help you to create your bot in a more refined way. If in case you are facing any, any issue, you can create a ticket. You are stuck somewhere. So click on this and have a chat with any of the agents from mob.ai and you'll get help as soon as possible. I hope your bot building experience is good. Thank you.